Uh, so yeah, let's no. let's hop back it's in. Bad. Rin, you watch from your vantage point as uh, Darian disappears in a cloud of mist, and you watch that cloud of mist uh, travel up through the air and alight upon a uh, rooftop, a few a few buildings down. Liberty, with your passive perception, I'd say you know it's the same thing. Rin is actively mm-hmm. trying to resist the temptation to chuck a rock through it. <laughs> or to pull out a novelty fan from somewhere. <laughs> I- I'm definitely going to a different building, but yes. He could make it there. He's a rogue. Yeah. True. He does have the acrobatics to boot. Do do I see do I see um Zephyr in the crowds? Make a perception check. Okay, dokie. Please, nope. if she sees him, tell me that he's disguised as a little old lady. Oh. I don't know. What did you roll? A total of four. You have no idea where Zephyr is. It nope, is crowded. None. And from your vantage point, from where, what you can see, you can see the, the dwarves are, like, frantically uh, shoving people around looking for where in the world Darian went, but they're only looking for Darian. So you appear to be in the clear. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep making my way out. All I'm right. gonna move on. Darian's just <laughs> drifting up along the side of a building's, the nearest building's wall in an alley to, uh, discreetly hide his ascension. Uh, alright. Yeah, you make it to the top of the building. And I'm just gonna mosey my way on down at ten feet per, uh, <laughs> per, <laughs> per second, not second, but, <laughs> uh, ten feet seconds. of movement per round and so, uh, <laughs> just make my way towards the safe house. <laughs> It takes it takes a little while, but so you're just gonna float through the air towards the safe house. I'm I'm still gonna like like move along as many rooftops as I you know as I can. That's in kind of a straight line to avoid line of like oh hey there's a cloud moving over there in the desert. <laughs> yeah, but it's a small it's a small allocated cloud. It's <laughs> it's just cruising. <laughs> All I'm asking is a little bit of shade. I would like you to make either a stealth, nature, or survival check. Nature and survival both give me a plus three, which puts me at a twelve. Uh, you're gonna have to choose one for me, though. Uh, nature, why not? All right. Uh, you begin to follow some air currents that would logically be in this area. And seem to kind of blend into the general breeze. Breeze. I, I was gonna say smog, but this is definitely not. That's definitely not a thing <laughs> around here. Um, there, there is some amount of smoke and uh, just air pollution, just from different fires and fireplaces and people uh, enjoying themselves at night with the the lights that uh, cause fumes. And you end up being able to hide amongst those. Uh, Rin and Liberty, what are you doing? Okay, so um, we were over by the docks and we're heading north mm-hmm. into the water? No, no. Okay, I may be misunderstanding the map here because we were like at the water's edge and it looks like this unless the water was more on the inlet of the river so if memory serves me correctly you guys are on the uh western side of the bay uh if you're looking at the map there's a little uh natural port there's a section there that's labeled uh what number is that? Is that number eight? I believe that's number eight. Uh, you're a bit north of that. 
So oh, the south gate. Right? That's the eight in the bottom left. Southwest. Isn't that eight down there? No, that's seven. That's the No, hold on. I'm getting up. <sighs> Sigh. I have I'm to sorry. stand while playing D and D. You're welcome. Okay, so yeah, eight. Eight is that little port right across the bay from two. Okay. Yeah. So you I guys are a little north of that. Map, but... uh, you guys are uh, pretty close to uh, from from where you've been. You've been able to see every now and then that there is a uh, the building site. I see seven. I see two. So it's I don't think there's an the eight on our two? map. I think the eight was oh, after. Is it not? Oh. Yeah, we just have the bubble. Okay, so pretty but much, you see, you look. There's like a bubble-shaped part of the river. You see the lower, the southern okay. wall of the entertainment district. Yes. Follow that as a straight line to the bay water there, and that's pretty much where you're at. That inlet on the left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess your the map's probably a little out of date then. Yeah, I apologize. Oh, Qatar cartography. <laughs> so, for your edification, the uh, structure that's being built as on the bottom curve of that uh, little inlet. Got it. The people who are listening at home aren't going to understand a thing I just said. They're just going to think I'm stupid, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Because <laughs> I can't read the map, they can't see. <laughs> so, Rin, what are you doing? Continuing onward. All right. Probably by rooftop. All right. Go ahead and roll me an acrobatics check just for fun. Acrobatics, you say? <clears throat> <laughs> I'm wasting all my good rolls. <laughs> 26. <laughs> Jeez. What, what uh, are so good rolls? You are you are full on Assassin's Creeding this where you run across buildings, jumping in between some of the smaller gaps, and then when the larger gap comes, you find a place where it either has a clothesline hanging in between two buildings or some sort of connection where you'll just dash across it. Uh if anyone was around, this is the most splendid circus show you've ever seen. But no one's yeah, around. Rin's, pro Rin's probably focusing <clears throat> more on the acrobatics than he is on um, the fact that he's supposed to be uh, disguised. So he's probably back to his tiefling form while he does this, just so he can focus more. Totally fair. And Liberty, what are you doing? I thought Darian and I had agreed that it, we were a bit tapped out to be going and trying to kidnap or kill a guy in a safe house. So, um, I think, oh gosh, this is what happens when we don't have communication. Um, I think she is making her way over toward the river to try to cross back through the temple district. Given her current disguise, she was gonna she's gonna start heading that way. Okay. Okay. Um, in that case, uh, you will be approached by what appears to be an old man. No good. Who then very quickly reveals himself to be Zephyr. Ah, fuck! Uh. I was so close. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering reveals if it was the kid again. Triggers. I had concerns as soon as he said reveals. <laughs> uh, he'll say, where are, where are you going? Aren't we going up the street? Look at what I've got under this trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to pull that on liberty. Bad things happen to people who try that. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> Please. No. Mind so, sliver. Mind sliver. <laughs> so to make sure that I'm on the same page, this is a Benzoli. Heavy on the sliver. Then, right? Yes. Uh, 
this do- from what they were the saying were this is a Vinzoli safe house because it's where because, they were being kept because I missed that detail earlier <laughs> and now I have better context to understand and figure that out <laughs> but that's where I went so that's where I am <laughs> yep <laughs> we'll just call it reconnaissance so Zephyr uh, asks you, Liberty. How so... injured is Zephyr at this point? Because um, he's not right? looking hot. But is he bloodied? Is he at least bloodied? He's covering up well, but yeah, he is. Mm-hmm. Given what we all just survived through, and the fact that Darian and I have both been expending much of our magical capacity, my understanding was we were going to step back, get some much needed rest, get some more information before we attempted this. Well, his uh, cloud form uh, went north, so he just kind of shrugs his shoulders and begins walking in that direction. How far are we now from the commotion? Pretty far. You guys are practically a full block away. Okay. It appears to be pretty localized at this point as the dwarves are getting more and more frustrated. Okay. Then I will step out of sight again um, because this form is likely to draw some attention. A holy woman in this part of the city that uh, (laughs) revels in the dark. Whatever would you mean? Yes. Yeah. Mm, what do I want to be? I will take the form of a fisherman's daughter that I've seen on the temple side. The All sultan right. side. Excuse me. Good to know. And are you following Zephyr? Yeah. All right. In that case, wrong one. Ah! Music. Uh, Dang, things okay. got, you know, got real like... party, party-ish there for a second. <laughs> I got excited. <laughs> to expedite this process, just just a tad. Uh, Rin, you definitely make it there first. You find yourself on the peak of a building across the street. Uh, well, by street, I mean uh, this is a larger intersection. A, uh, what appears to be old well, uh, describes the center of it, and a large circular part of the road, uh, winds its way around a few different streets, uh, jut off in different directions, but the building that has been described to you is across all of this from you. I see. Uh, what time it is appears, that? uh, it's like 9, 30, 10. So it's dark? Oh, it's definitely dark out, Fantastic. yeah. Fantastic. Rin is in his stealth form, so what's white is black and what's gold is purple. Perfect, perfect. Um, all in all, it's a pretty big building. Uh, richly decorated, as most of them, uh, most of the buildings around here are. You would s- assume that it's some sort of uh, guild. Uh, a good amount of buildings around uh, this specific area are. Uh, you can definitely recognize the Merchant's Guild, the Fisher's, Fisherman's Guild, a few different larger meeting places for denizens of uh, this part of the city. This one doesn't... Uh, no, actually, this one this one would be a Worker's Guild. This is a, hard, a manual labor. I see. Uh, more or less, the streets in this area are pretty empty. You'll occasionally see the odd drunkard uh, swaying their way through the streets uh, and trying to make their way back home, or what they believe home to be at the moment. Uh, what would you like to know about the building? What are the most... <clears throat> uh, what, for me, would be the best enter- entrances and exits? What's the roof made of? Uh, roll me a perception check. I keep rolling hot, baby. Yeah, it's not bad. Fourteen. All right. Uh, this building is made of a bit more uh, modern style. 
uh, tiled roof that is ever so slightly uh, uh, pit, uh, inclined is the word I was looking for. A few different sections uh, are raised to make room for windows. Uh, the windows themselves appear to be thin glass that is ever so slightly frosted uh, with the uh, opaqueness, not actual frost, because it's not that cold. It never gets that cold. Um, there does appear to be a few chimneys in the top, as well as a potential uh, balcony on one side. I see. Uh, it's on one of the corners of the building and appears to be more cut away from the rest of the building, to, but the roof still extends over it to give a little shaded balcony area. Gotcha. Uh, as you're taking all this in, you smell, smell bullshit on the air, and Darian, you begin to alight on the rooftop behind him. You're welcome. I'm, tr I'm trying to kill you, Kelso. I hope you know that. <laughs> Thank you. Wonderful. I feel like my dice are doing that for me, but that's fine, too. <laughs> you certainly tried last time. Um, okay, so I can see Rin somewhere? You can. Uh, well, actually, no. Make a perception check. And Rin, I need a stealth check from you. Gladly. <sighs> of, of course... Dirty 20. Perception? Yep. Of, of course, like, the one thing that he's really good at is what I have to compete against. I rolled a 16, which puts me at a 19. So I still fail. Oh! You barely don't notice him. You you find this rooftop, and it, you're pretty sure that across the street is what you're looking for, but uh, this rooftop is probably as good as any to uh, recuperate. Uh, Darian's not going to drop his form but uh, I'm sure what with Rin noticing him. Yeah, Rin, are you doing anything with the with the cloud of bullshit hanging in the air? No, I'm just watching. All right. I, have, I, I am doing nothing to indicate my presence there. Perfect. <sighs> of course I actually roll decently well, and I'm still one point shy, because it's freaking Rin, naturally. Um... Darian's kind of going to scope out the building. So Darian's going to look for... Uh, Darian's going to enter the building through the nearest crack. <laughs> okay. Make crack an investigation opening. check as you begin searching for a crack. What did this gap just form last? Make a crack check. One hour. One hour. <laughs> There's crack. <laughs> uh, pers no, investigation. I mean, I would imagine it means fun. You roll the six all in all. All right. Uh, you're moving across the building, checking for some cracks. Uh, this is going to take you about five minutes. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Liberty, you have made it to the intersection. There are about five roads all in all that lead into it. And uh, a little off to your right, you can see the large building that you are pretty sure was described to you. Uh, Liberty is going to look for an out-of-the-way vantage point to, I guess, probably from ground level. There's a... I'm... oh, from ground level. Uh, I was about to say, yeah. there's a very nice building right to your left. It seems to be empty. Yeah, no, I don't feel as confident with my... Yeah, I don't feel as confident with my climbing abilities. Um, I'm just gonna look for like an alley or something where I can okay. kind of get an idea and wait for the rest of the guys to show up. Cause... I I'd say that there there are, the streets around you are pretty dark. Uh, the uh, roundabout, for lack of better terminology, has uh, a couple of lanterns on the inside of it, but for the most part, the road that you came in on is as good as any of the others. There aren't any real alleys, unfortunately. Okay. You said there's a building near me that... Not the one that was 
described, but a building that looks empty. Uh, yeah, there's a building across the street from the building that was described that appears to be completely dark. I, I appears to be a tailor's guild. All right, perfect. Uh, ooh, yeah, careful. Um, I'll just quietly make my way and kind of find a dark. I mean, everything's dark right now, but the darker shadow, I guess, to stand in and watch the building and wait for a sign of wizard or changeling. Roll me a perception check. Cool, because no one explained this plan to me. <laughs> Which, you know, I don't know that Rin expects us to follow his lead at this point. Uh, 17? You see a cloud that is rubbing itself against the building. Oh god, that's so... <laughs> I did not need that mental image. You're welcome. You're welcome. God damn it, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> it's making soft cooing noises. No! It's not a turtle. <laughs> I hate all of you. Um... <laughs> Wait, I feel like Kelsey's about to protest his innocence. You you brought this about, sir. I like his on! <laughs> I can't think of I better am... timing. I love how Jesse am... would sense it. <laughs> I, am ag... oh, I, like I am certainly agitated. And I... Mm... I'll bet you are with moves like that. Uh, he hasn't gotten it in years, I tell you what. That's what happens when you have adult kids in the house. Can't bring anyone so, over. So, a couple things. First of all, I had said phrasing in a very pained voice for obvious reasons. <laughs> it's too and late for that. I will that. have you know, when you started making the cooing noises, I will have you know that your punishment is that those are getting sound bitten. <laughs> Those are just going to be things that exist now that are... Oh, you're no. You're welcome. Good for you. <laughs> Sound oh, bitten. no. Not that. How could it be? We wouldn't have ever known. I'm in control of the editing. I do what I damn well please. <laughs> now, what <laughs> will you do if I, if I sub-vocalize? What, <clears throat> what will you do if I sub-vocalize this entire conversation repeatedly throughout the recording? <laughs> He'll do it, too. He's done it to me so will. much. I know, and he's he is right. I can't control that because you're all on the same track. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but my power just but grew I can say... so much. You should not have given me that information. <laughs> I just became so much more. This powerful. information has been established. It's not my fault you didn't listen to oh, it. I'm so strong. Power. I'm afraid. Here's. Yep. Look, all I know. Is that the real question here? <laughs> I'm in danger. Is if you're as good with your hands as you are with your tongue. <laughs> yeah. It's about this time that uh, Darian has found the balcony, and on the inside of the balcony appears to be a completely open door. Uh, well, doorway. There is no door, but instead a there uh, is no spoon. A uh sequence of hanging beads across where the doorway is. Alright, well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll go for those then. <laughs> Whatever gets me into the building. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit back and watch for now. Alright. As good a crack as any. And Gross. time stamp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's about this time, Liberty, that you see the cloud disappear over, over the ledge. Is is he going in without us? Now, where have I heard that one before? <laughs> Under all the... I have no idea what you're well, What you are currently hearing is Liberty on the brink of a nervous breakdown. <laughs> I could possibly climb up there and throw you down a rope? I... I do not think that would help matters at this point. He shrugs. 
do not have the spells to get him out of there. If his cloud form wears off before he can escape. Idiot. <laughs> How much time do I still have on that DM? He's the get one hour dumbest, in. smartest person. You've 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 gone about twenty minutes tops. Cool. I have no idea where Rin is. I don't know if Rin even came this way. He may be off taking care of himself. He could be. So. Oh. Um, Darian sent his owl ahead, right? Do I see any sign of the owl? Uh, didn't Darian dismiss his owl? You are correct. The owl is not present. Okay. Darian dismissed his owl right before he left the, uh, alleyway so that oh, he I... wasn't going to stand out. There is no spoon and there is no owl. I thought... I thought that was his way of saying that he sent off his owl to spy out the... Ah. So I misunderstood. I'm sorry. Right. I don't know what else I can do except for the watch and be ready to... I don't know, cause the distraction at the front door if we hear a commotion. He'll shrug and lean against the lean against the wall where you guys are sitting and begin tending to some of his wounds himself. Rin, you saw the cloud uh, skirt its way across the wall a couple times before finding the balcony and slipping through there. What are you doing? Um. Hmm. <clears throat> Rin has taken out a small pan. Did you say holding... pan? Yes, like a cooking pan. Okay. And is holding it above his hand, which has a small, uh, small, fl uh, like a flame in it. Mm -hmm. And he has fill uh, poured uh, several, uh, uh, quite a few strange seeds into the pan and is slowly heating the pan. <laughs> uh, is this the Rin equivalent of popping popcorn? Yep. Hell yeah. In that case, uh, Darian... He's also set his oil flask next to him. Perfect. Darian. Hi. Hi. Moving through the beads, you make it into this next room. Uh, it appears to be relatively lavishly furnished, uh, though dark. There are no lanterns or anything lit in here. Uh, it appears to be a medium-sized sitting room. Uh, plants shoved in corners, couches and cushions strewn about the place. It's well put together. And, yeah, you're a cloud at the moment, so there, there's a limited amount of stuff that you can find out. I'm a cloud. Boogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cloud. You're a cloud! <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking around there appears to be a large staircase that leads down off to your left towards the front of the building uh, straight ahead of you appears to be a door that leads into a different room and on your right there appears to be a uh, slightly segmented room that uh, can't, uh, looks like it can be closed off to have more of a private meeting, ch private meeting chamber it's slightly okay. raised. Uh, I'll probably head towards that. I'm going to be completely honest, though. I have no idea what my objective is here. Yeah. Uh, Neither do I. The what do you play? Through the events of the I'm evening, the I feel like Darian would remember the uh, discussion better than I have. Uh, do you want me to recap what's going on here? Please. <laughs> okay, so you saved the kids. Help! Right. Uh, they said that they had information for a Heaven's Tower team that you guys fit the bill of. Uh, the information had to do with an individual by the name of Orin Gumen, who was an asset to the Venzuli mob. They said that it was 
imperative that he be removed from their service. Uh, okay, you are so more than sounds... welcome to roll me an insight to figure out what they meant by that. I feel like that one's pretty killed. cut and dry, but also open up to what I want to do to him. <laughs> Inter we could interrogate him at home, or we could just deal with it. But that is comprehensive, thank you. I mean, if he cut off his head and bring it back... We can get a scroll speak of like speak dead. With dead or something. I make do sure not have to speak with dead. Make I sure to get the uh, make sure to get the lungs though. Either that or make sure your fireplace has a pair of bellows. <laughs> I do not speak to them. I just make them. Job. <laughs> I make the dead. I do not talk to them. <laughs> the Rimtuk Manor does not have a fireplace. So it does not have bellows. Make very sure certain you get the lungs then. I think all you need is the jaw. You don't actually have to have. It's magic. Oh, wait, it force counts. There. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what was that inside check? Uh, inside is going to put me at a 13. 13? But I, I feel like it's pretty obvious that he just needs to be. Uh, With not your working. history <laughs> check from earlier and knowing that you recognize this name, but you're not sure why. Uh, they might not mean kill, but they also might not not mean kill. Yeah. But Just information in is confused. quite valuable, which, which could also, I mean, being an asset, knowledge is very, knowledge is power, and I feel like Indeed. Uh, Heaven's Tower can make use of that. So, at the moment, what you are doing is you are entering breaking and entering into a guild uh, that appears to be under the Vinzoli's control trying to find said asset to remove him from Vinzoli service okay i'm going to make my way into that, that side room you mentioned um i'm only uh, which going room? to i'm sorry uh the the side room for private discussions you mentioned okay um I am sticking as much to the ceiling as I can, though. Okay, roll me a stealth check with advantage, because you're a cloud. Darian, Darian, does whatever <laughs> a Darian does. Uh, <laughs> it turns into a cloud. Uh, 15, okay. Uh, moving into the next room, uh, the steps... There are about two to three steps that lead up into this uh, secluded area. Uh, it gives you a very good view of everything else. Uh, there is a small brazier in the center that appears to be able to be lit for a small fire to keep this room warm during the cold nights. A couple of cushions and couches across the walls, a uh, potted plant in one corner, and lying on one of the couches <laughs> is a heavily snoring dwarven individual in Vinzoli garb, a large brimmed hat covering the majority of his face. Does he have a name tag? Uh, he has a hammer <laughs> uh, laying on the ground beside him. Hi, my name is Mike. Hi, <laughs> <Huh>, name's Doran. <laughs> I'm no. a Vindy. A two. <laughs> Junior. <laughs> my personality type is eight. <laughs> um, INFJ I have to double check because I can't interact with anything in this form can't talk, can't manipulate can't wearing an da, 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 da. NPC jersey cannot attack or cast spells, dang it I like long walks on the beach we're covering so for you while you think out loud is that what you're doing? <laughs> I essentially can't do Definitely. anything unless I drop the form, but I'm not willing to do that yet. Um, that is correct. You could go in his lungs. You're thinking about it. Do not I, actually I, No, I'm it. not. I I'm... advise against it. <laughs> I'm uh, trying to... Did you hear to... about Darian? I'm... Yeah, got snored to death. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm uh I'm I'm debating the merits of trying to uh fill the space like underneath his hat between his face to see if I can see him, but that you would probably notice the the uh the slight breeze. Wow, it got a lot more breezy in here than I remember. <laughs> um I'm gonna keep looking around, I guess. Alright. Where are you going then? You have a I... staircase and you have another door. Let's try the other door before I leave this floor. All right. Uh, you would notice that there does appear to be candlelight spilling out from the crack below the door. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move my way along the wall towards the floor and try and seep slightly underneath the door enough to try and see. All right. Make and a stealth I... check again. I also don't have any idea how that meant how that mechanically works <laughs> because it's a cloud. It partially depends on your stealth check. This well, that's is a, a natural one. Roll. Yep. Okay. Uh, and I would like a perception check as well with disadvantage. Then. Fuck. <laughs> I rolled a fifteen and an eighteen. So perception puts me at an 18 to 21. <laughs> okay. So an 18 is my perception and my stealth is a one. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm trying to yeah. figure out how this works. So Hold, mm, it's like uh it's like when a child is hiding uh is like covering his uh his face and says if I can't see you you can't see me. <laughs> Um, all right, so peeking your head, period question mark, underneath the door frame, you would see a relatively large room, probably at the very least 80 feet across uh, from this side to the far side, and probably about 40 or, so, uh, 40 or, so, 40 or so feet in width. Uh, there appear to be two doorways uh, on the wall to your right. Uh, one on wall closest to you, uh, one near the wall close that you're peeking through, and one on the wall uh, near the wall farthest from you. Uh, across the room from the one farthest from you, there appears to be a uh, a banister that uh, describes the edge of a staircase that leads downstairs. The furniture of the room is also comfortable there appears to be a harpsichord uh in the center of the room to your left uh the there are a couple of oil lanterns lit around here and you see uh unfortunately your vision is interrupted as a dwarven boot stomps down where your head is uh and the door opens and displaces your body uh, you hear, Ooh. you hear in the air. Uh, good night, Mister Gooman. Sleep well. As the door shuts again, and he moves past, and you are now very much inside the room, just standing in the doorway. He appears to have not noticed you, but only because you are a cloud. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, from your new position, though, you see a gnomish individual who appears to be tinkering with a, uh, a model ship. Uh, he sits on the couch in the center of the room and uh, has his back more or less to you uh, and doesn't seem to notice your presence. Okay. Um, where did the one dwarf go? He, uh, he went... Into the room that you just came out of. Got it. Okay. Um, he kind of stepped on your head and moved your body. Uh, yeah. You would uh, take one point of damage except for your resistant non-magical uh, attacks, so you take no damage. Wonderful. <clears throat> um, okay, so gnome in the middle of the room on a couch, tinkering mm -hmm. with a toy ship, model ship, uh, a door across the room and a door on the right side of the room, right? And the 
the one across leads to uh, another set of staircases going down. Uh, close enough, there are two doorways on your right, one two. near, one far, and on the opposite side of the room from the far one is the staircase. Got it. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna s make my way up to the ceiling and uh, along the wall and move along the the uh, the very top right, you know, the top edge of the room towards the nearest door. All right. As you begin moving, the gnome seems to catch you out of their cor out of the corner of his eye. And that's where we're gonna end tonight's session. You fuck. No, <laughs> no. It's so early, though. <laughs> it's eleven. What do you mean it's so early? Two o'clock. <laughs> Hell Rin's no. Pop Rip Rin's popcorn finishes popping. Yes, Rin's popcorn. Rin's seeds are quite toasty, well seasoned, and delicious. Uh, hey, from the outside, Rin has a delicious seed. I did not. There it is. There it is. Not. I was waiting for it. There it is. <laughs> I have a feeling that eh, that's a different subject. I'm no, no. Concerned with what subject you're considering there. <laughs> Continue. Uh, whether whether or not doppelgangers even have seed. Well, is he a doppelganger or a changeling? Ah, uh, right. Yeah, changelings. I I sometimes get them mixed, the names mixed up because effectively they're the same mm -hmm. thing. Anyways, yeah. that's the end of tonight's session. Join us next time, dear listener, for the exciting conclusion to this very odd heist. You've what, you, you fucking T P K T P K. Two, two hey, stop now. that! <laughs> what? What have I done to you two games Fuck in a row? <laughs> fucking, uh, what's the term? Blue balls. Blue balls? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was gonna let you guys finish before I came up with a very convoluted way to, to uh, convey that same You've blue metaphor. balled me twice, uh, twice now. Two sessions in a row, and I'm not standing for it. You got a one shot in between. <laughs> no whining. I love cliffhangers, man. I love giving my players cliffhangers. I'm gonna show you a fucking cliffhanger, and it's gonna be a literal cliff, and you're gonna be hanging from it from a hanger. <laughs> so, so hear me out. Yeah. Resume tomorrow in like twelve hours. <laughs> People are doing things in the in the afternoon. No, they're not. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm driving up to Jacob's home. house and murdering him. <laughs> <laughs> I will join you. I will join you. You know what? We'll even have Hobbit drive up and murder him. But before yeah, we be, do that, before we be do real. that, we will force him to continue the story. <laughs> It'll be like Shahrazad. <laughs> if he doesn't Wait. continue the story, he dies. <laughs> have we just created our own 101 Arabian Nights? <laughs> Thousand yes. and one. Thousand and one. Don't sell me short, sir. Uh, yeah, exactly. I apologize. I a, DM, apologize. a DM made the mistake of uh, cliffhangering his players too many times, and they finally got fed up with him and threatened his life. <laughs> in er in, in a, a setting heavily influenced by Arabian Nights, no less. No, no. <laughs> Jacob pleading for his life. But if you kill me, the story will never end. <laughs> if Forge just responds, I reject your reality and substitute, substitute my own. My own. <laughs> Ghost Rider, motherfucker. <laughs> oh. Mr. Ghost Rider. <laughs> no? you... Okay. Yep. Yep. It's... If you guys happen to be down to play again tomorrow afternoon, I could probably yes. pull off a short session. Yes. At this point, I'm gonna yeah. have to fucking find a way, won't I? <laughs> so, I didn't get an answer to my question. Is Cliffhanger good rough or bad rough? Um, bad rough. Yes and no. In this particular instance, I would say bad rough. <laughs> but fair, but... I, I think I agree with Jesse about the, um... Then, if you guys are saying that, we can go for another half hour. Yes. <laughs> I am absolutely down. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me, Seymour.
<laughs> Thank you very much, Jacob. I appreciate your concession. Well, I don't here. want you guys to actually be upset. I, I, I'm good with the whole like, oh, dang it all, DM. You asshole! How dare you? Just <laughs> uh, uh, stop to to be fair, uh, on my uh, most of the uh, uh, my part of this is mostly just that. I assume, but like, like yeah, I agree. Also, but he's also offering another half hour, and I know, you know I, if... I ain't gonna turn down another fucking half hour. <laughs> <laughs> we could go for a bit longer. <laughs>